I'm sorry, folks. Come on. Give me a break here. How does your family know we have no statement? Do you have any no, this, to no, no, there's no comment. How do you feel about getting your client off? Look, Mr. Winthrop, hey, when did you first discover that your client was be covering for someone else? Chris, I told you and your colleagues I'll answer all your questions at the press conference tomorrow, okay? Um, tonight, all I want to say is I'm thrilled that Pauline is home with her family and that I'm able to spend some time with mine. Uninterrupted, I don't mean to be coy or hard to get. I, I just need a break, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Well, Mr. Winter, 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 Winter. Just one more photo, please. Just one more photo. That was weird. Wasn't it? Yes, it was. Listen, I want to thank you for bringing Charlie down here to meet with us. Oh, no problem, boss. And there's one other thing. You and I both know that um, I wouldn't have been able to stay on top of this case if it hadn't been for your help. Oh, well, it's always a pleasure to be with Charlie and to meet with you. Thank you. Sure. Have a good day. And during this demanding and brutal trial, the spelling of L I L A. <laughs> yeah, that. Oh, Kev, Hi. honey. What are you doing hiding in the shadows? These lovely people of the press persuasion would like to speak to us, you know? <laughs> uh, Charlie's here. Charlie, honey, Doesn't she look nice? Yeah, Listen, Lila, Don't you um, have a comment? isn't it just terrible? Sure having to have your privacy invaded like this. Oh, Don't you hate it? it must be what it feels like to be at the Oscars, you know, with a green jury. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to say that I believed in Cass from the very beginning. I told him he reminded me of that great lawyer, Gregory Peck. <laughs> yeah, well, honey, I, I've told the members of the press that I wouldn't be talking with them tonight. It'll be at the press conference tomorrow. Oh. So, Charlie, there's a oh. table over in the corner. We'll meet you there. Listen, oh, honey, you handle this for me, okay? Oh, oh okay, I'll okay. do that. Okay. I'll be right there. Mrs. Carter. Uh, <laughs> so could you give us a little more information? Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, he's very private. You know, most of the great legal minds are like that. Excuse me, but well, I just why, am I not, why am I not surprised? You know something? Only you could manage to make Paulina's trial about yourself. You know, I don't know what's worse. Letting Paulina take the rap for what you did or letting her believe she could actually give birth to a reptile like you. I'm not scared of you. Good. You don't have to be scared of me. Because I'm not going to do anything to you. I already knew that. You know, the worst possible thing I could dream up for you is right around the corner, my friend. Do you have any idea what they're going to do to you in prison? Do you? I do. Let me tell you something. Those earrings are going to be very popular with your new peer group. Yeah, real big threat, Captain. You can say whatever you want. But Paulina, she's not going to let anything happen to me. She'll do anything she can to keep me out of prison. What happened? She was so good, and that's how she's titled. She got so scared. Oh, no false. A shocker again? Charge. Had us charge. Clear. Charge. Had us charge. Clear. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's going on, Paulie? What's going on here? Paulie? Second, I just got the worst feeling. Are you all right? No, it's like somebody's clawing at my insides. Listen, listen. Let me just stress it. Okay? I'm not do enough. Right no, Jake, I felt this before in the fire when I thought we were going to lose Tante. Paulina, why don't you tell me what's going on there? She because I don't know. They just pushed me out of the way, Nick. I'm sorry. No pulse. Defibrillate. Charge. Have a charge. Clear. Come on. Charge. All right. Clear. Let him do the job. Let him do what the are they job. doing to her? I don't understand. Why do I feel like I should be doing There's something? There's nothing you can do. That's what sucks about something like this, okay? What are they doing to her? Is everything going to be okay? The patient has internal bleeding. She's critical. The patient has a name. She's a person. Does she have any family here? Oh, well, I'm the closest thing she has to anyone. What is she? We're taking her into surgery now. If a parent were here, she could sign the consent Nurse, 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 nurse. Would she flatline? When, 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 did, when did that happen? Almost immediately after we went in with the crash cart. That's what I felt. Damn it! Listen, I know this is tough for you, and this stuff, right? I swear to God, if she doesn't make it, I'm gonna kill that little son. I'm gonna kill Tito! Don't think about that jerk right now, all right, Nick? How can I not think about it, Jake? She's in there. She's dying. She's gotta go to surgery. And all I can hear is that jerk's voice in my head. Telling Remy, oh, how much I love you, how much I need you, how much I care about you. What? What are you, what? I should have thrown that guy off the balcony like I had the chance the first time, but she said no because they grew up together. They have a whole relationship, a family. Timothy? His name is not Timothy, it's Tito. And he almost killed her. And it's still happening. 
Listen to me. As soon as Remy's okay, we'll go tear the guy a new, new hole to breathe out of. But right now, you need to calm down because they can kick you out of this hospital, and that's the last thing you want. Remy, Remy, Remy and Timothy grew up together. You just go now. Haven't you done enough already? Didn't you just hear me? Why don't you just leave? All right, Nick, listen, knock it off, all right? Now, everyone's hurting here. Don't take it out on Pauline. Why not? You know, I can maybe sort of understand Remy falling for Tito's crap. He was all she had for a real long time. But you. I don't understand. You don't understand? Good God, Paulina. How many times did Joe or I tell you to be careful of that jerk? Watch out for him. You not only ignored us, but you helped him along every step of the way. You're the freaking poster child for aiding and abetting. Remy was in that car because of you. You told her to watch out for me because you don't want me messing with your precious Timothy. All right, I said that's enough. Okay, now she thought Tito was her son. Yeah, and because she thought that, she let him get away with one more. <laughs> And now we're all sitting around here waiting to find out if Rem is victim number two. Mrs. Carlino, Remy just went into surgery. Why? What's going on? Well, she had some internal bleeding, and it caused her heart to stop. <gasps> now we need to find the source of the bleeding and repair it. Okay, I'm afraid that she is in critical condition. <sighs> now, the surgery is going to take a couple hours, so maybe you want to get some food. I'm not going anywhere. Fine. I'll, uh, I'll let you know as soon as I hear anything. Thank you, doctor. As soon as she comes out of surgery, I'm going to stay with Nick until he calms down. And I should go find Joe. And... Nick, 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 look, look, listen to me, listen to me. I will leave you alone in just a minute, all right? But you need to tell me about what you just said. That Tim and Remy knew each other for years. I just need a little time with Paulina. You need a little time with Paulina. Tito, you had a little time with Paulina. Remember? You had that gun to her head. Look, I just got to explain, okay? I killed Harrison to protect you her. You killed Harrison to cover your own fat behind. Mm. You knew you weren't Paulina's kid. You knew you wouldn't get the money. You know how many times I heard Paulina say that she understood where I came from, understood what it was like to grow up on the streets, to be unwanted, to be unloved? She told me all the terrible things that she had done. Don't you ever compare yourself to my wife again. Do you understand me? So don't you even say her name? I know I'm right. She'll help me beat this. Joe. Joe. Mm. Mr. Joe. Carlino, are you aware of the statutes concerning assault? Or is that yet another law you seem to have lost Adams, track of? Adams, I need of? a hand over here. Actually, you know what, Reiner? It's Captain Carlino to you. Not after I file these charges against you. Oh, Vicky, this is a surprise. So is botulism. <laughs> You know what, honey? All that pain and suffering you've been through is starting to show on your face. As I can see, the lines are deeper and the bags are baggier and the mouth is a little bit meaner. But you know what? I would love to stay in chat, but you see, I can't because I am celebrating Cass's legal victory. Don't you wish Jake would do something you could pretend to be a little bit proud of? But I'll tell you what. I'm gonna hold my breath. You do that, honey. Uh, excuse me. Um... No, no, I'm not, I'm not Frankie. Who are you? Who are you? It, it, it's all right. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have come up to you, but I, I didn't know that you knew oh, her. I do know her. Who are you? Uh, my name is Anne O'Donnell, and I know I look a lot like Frankie Like Frank, her? But... My God, you are her. No, no, I am not her, and I am so sorry that I scared you that way. What about Cass? Wait until he sees but you. He knows. He, he knows. I, actually, I, I work with him. You work with him you look exactly like frankie and nobody knows about this we tried to keep a low profile you succeeded well, you know if you would give me just one minute i could explain everything but i need to ask you something privately okay okay 
You know, I don't see why we can't just go over to Winthrop's table and ask him some questions. He, he obviously likes you, right? You can just make some small talk, at least get some human interest stuff from the kid. The man asked for privacy. I plan to give him that. <laughs> you know, I don't see how Bernstein or Woodway could have ever been this passive. You know, you can stop talking any minute now. Listen for a change. Number one, the story and the trial are both over. Number two, I'm not going to alienate Cass over some human interest stuff and lose him as a source for a good story. And number three, and you might want to write this one down, interns, listen and learn, not question and critique. Do you got that? You ever watch reruns on cable? Reruns, yeah, I watch them all the time. You know how cute Lou Grant was when he chewed out Mary? Well, you're not. So ultimately, I'm happy to say your testimony against Paulina didn't hurt after all. I'm just glad the whole mess is over. Victoria actually called me to tell me that she was coming over here with some good news. That must be what it was. Hmm. Well, didn't you see her? She came in when I came in. No. I wonder what happened. Uh, Frankie was uh, a sure tell relative of mine. My first husband was her cousin. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. It's just so weird standing here talking to you. I still cannot see any difference between you and Frankie and I, I'm sure it's a very strange experience. Yeah. Um, I saw you talking to Lila Corey. Yeah? Well, you're probably going to think I'm a terrible person, but um, I need to speak to someone about this. Why me? I hope I don't offend you, but I, I couldn't help but notice just now, and I, I, I may have totally misread the situation, but it seemed to me that you don't care much for Oh, no, that's, that's not true. I'm so sorry. Don't care for doesn't quite cut it. I cannot stand her southern guts. Nick. Honestly, I don't mean to upset you, but I need to know, how long have you known that Tim and Remy knew each other before they came here? For a while. <sighs> Two months, I don't know. Why didn't you tell me, or Joe? I wanted to tell you and Joe. I tried to get Tito to tell you. But Remy made me stay out of it. Why? Because she was so protective of that guy. She said that he had just found you, and if you knew that, you might not understand. All right, all right, all right, all right. listen to me. This is important. Was it Remy who didn't want other people to know, or Timothy? Why don't you go ask Timothy and leave me the hell alone? Good God, Paulina. Remy could be dying right now. And this is all you can think about? What the hell is wrong with you? So why don't you let me walk it out, all right, Paulina? No, no, I'll be fine. You stay with Nick. Nick, I'm gonna do what you said. I wanna go ask Timothy. But I want you to know that I'm not going to add abusing a prisoner to the list of charges against you, because I think I have enough with obstruction of justice, suppression of evidence, impeding Officer Burrell's investigation. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go to the ladies' room and powder my nose. You wanna come with me? Sorry, it's kinda weird going to the bathroom with someone else. That's my girl. <laughs> you know, she's right, it is a strange custom. You stay here and take care of your daddy for me. I'll be right back. Love you, honey. Oh, I love you. Mm. Hurry. Oh. 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 Well, bye bye now. Why don't you? Just look at her making a spectacle out of herself. <laughs> She's acting like winning this case is such a big deal. It is a big deal, isn't it? Mrs. Carlino is a really nice lady, and she did not kill Mayor Harrison. You know what? You are absolutely right. Mm -hmm. and watching Lila milk it like this. I haven't enjoyed winning a case this much in years. Didn't Mom used to make us wear party hats every time you won a case? Oh, my God, you remember that? You two look awful cute in those little silly-looking hats. <laughs> you know what? I, I don't know anyone else who would ever see that Mom and Lila had anything in common, but they do. They both love life. Party hats kind of people. Yeah. Don't do that. You're a reason for party hats. You're weird. Yes, I am. But you're weird and happy. Tonight I'm very happy, honey. <laughs> so anyway, Lila tricks Matt into sleeping with her so she can get pregnant and hold on to her ex-husband and his money. You're kidding. No, and then, after the ex-husband dies, then she marries Matt for his money. And why is she with Cass? Well, after the Corey money kind of dwindled, 
And she dumped Matt. Cass isn't that rich, is he? You know something? I, I don't know why Cass is with her, to tell you the truth, but I will tell you something I do know to be true about that woman. She can spin a very elaborate web, and I don't know, maybe this is all a plan to get something more than Cass's heart. Cass seems like such a great guy. Why would he wind up with a woman like that? You didn't know Cass after he lost Frankie. He just... He never really got over it, and Lila came along, and he was vulnerable. Yeah. You know, talking to you, it's, it's, it's sort of like talking to an old friend. You, even though I, I, I know you're not, Frankie, but it, it must be a very strange experience. Mm. <laughs> I can't help but wonder what it's like for Cass to just to see this face after all this time. I'm, I'm sure it's hard for him. I don't know. I, I loved someone once, and he died. And sometimes I think to see his face would just be the greatest gift. You know, you didn't have to come down here. You can go now and No, that's right. I think I'm gonna hang out with you. There's some things that uh, people shouldn't have to go through alone. I remember when I first came here. I didn't want to. <laughs> you made me. I was so ticked off. Always looking to leave. Damn. Now I don't remember when or how I realized I wasn't alone. I wanted that for Remy. She's in there, and she knows she doesn't have any family out here. <sighs> and deep down, I think she knows that Tito doesn't give a damn about her. But she, she knows that she can count on you. We were trying to find her mother. <laughs> That's all she wanted, you know? She wanted to know where she came from. Wanted to have some kind of connection to family. <laughs> and now she might die without ever knowing who her mother was. <laughs> Gee, I, I would really like to know what's so funny about my filing charges against I, Mr. Carlino. I just think that uh, it's amazing how well his plan worked. <laughs> his plan? Yeah. John knew he couldn't suss out the murderer by conventional means, so he had to go undercover, where he wouldn't have the restrictions of procedure. Uh, Tony. No, I, I think it's about time that we tell the DA, you know, I mean, case is closed, we got our man. Joe's background is in private investigating, but you can't be that private if you're the captain of a police precinct. So we came up with the plan that I would be the authoritarian jerk and he'd be my victim. It worked. We got our solution. <laughs> what a crock. Prove it, sister. Try to prove it, and I'll have every cop in this precinct back up my story. Now, wait a minute, no, Officer No, no, you wait. I know you think the sun rises and sets with you, but it doesn't. You need us to do your grunt work, and you need us to make your cases. I would love to see how many convictions you can rack up when every cop in Bay City hates your guts. So press charges against Joe. I'd love to see what happens to your precious reputation then. That's a threat. That is a threat. Yes, it is. So, you have two choices. You can go after Joe and watch your career go belly up, or you can say that he was an undercover operative all along, a loyal member of your law enforcement dream team. Huh? What's it gonna be? Uh, now would be a good time for you to leave. You know, you were given an amazing opportunity. It's too bad you couldn't make more of it. <laughs> now that felt good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, you didn't have to do that. Thank you. Yeah. I know I know, this has not been easy for you the last couple of weeks, but uh, I didn't make it too easy for you myself. I didn't become a cop because I thought it was going to be easy, you know? You're a great cop. Thank you. And you're a better friend. Uh, 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 uh. I just passed out that memo banning uh, intra-cop hugging. Well, so you know what? I must have misplaced the memo somewhere. 
Come over here. <sighs> Paulina. Hey, Blue. How's Remy? Kidding me? No, trust her. I was just, I was so scared. I've been going crazy thinking that you hate me. Really? Yeah, I mean, when on the docks when I grabbed you, and I just, I felt like a trapped dog and all the stuff I said. I, I know, I know. I mean, you're the only one, you're the only one who ever cared. You're the only one who ever understood. I do, too. I do understand. I do. I know how alone and scared you must feel. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh, God, this is barbaric. Yeah, it is. I want to help you. See, I knew, I knew you would. I talked to a lawyer. For me? Yes. He said he needs answers fast before they question you. What? Look, he said the biggest problem is everything you did seems premeditated, which... which is first-degree murder, which could get you the death sentence. Oh, God. No, wait, stay with me. Please stay with me. We don't have much time. He says the fact that you doctored the DNA test makes it look like a one big elaborate scam. I'm so sorry. I know you are. I know you are. Listen, listen to me. There's one way out. What? I told the lawyer what I really believe. That you did all this for someone we both love. Yeah, I told you. I told Joe that, that I did it to protect you. And? And my real child. I, I don't... You weren't just protecting me by killing Grant, but her too. That's how you got the locket, wasn't it? I don't understand. No. Joe's gonna drag me out of here about two seconds and we won't be able to talk again, so you gotta tell me. You did this all for Remy, didn't you? You'd do anything to spare her more pain. I mean, you didn't know her birth mother could have been a drunk or someone, or who didn't want to talk to her. <sighs> yeah. So you just did the hard part for her, didn't you? Come on, Tim, this is your only way out. You gotta tell me. You did this for Remy, didn't you? <sighs> yeah. And that's why you took the locket. Yeah, I just, I just, I just, I borrowed it. I didn't, I didn't want to see her get hurt. You didn't even ask how she was, you bastard! She could be dying and you don't even care! Scammed you? Damn straight, how's it feel? Ha! You know, when your mother dumped you, she probably knew what Remy and I had to learn the hard way. I can't stop that. I gotta get to Remy. Remy. Hey, Doc, what's going on? How'd it go? How'd it, how'd it go? How'd it go? Well, the surgery took care of the immediate problem. You now it all depends on how hard she fights. That's when I realized, when I almost lost Jake, just how far Lila was willing to go to make sure I paid. That's horrible. I know, and that, I mean, I'll tell you, that's the part I couldn't forgive. I, I, I could understand the anger, I could understand the resentment, I could even understand wanting to get back at me. But what she did to Jake and to my kids, I mean, she just made sure she went that extra mile and the whole thing was public. Do you think she'd ever do something like that to Charlie and Cass? No. No, I, I, I think I was special. Although if she wanted something, she'd just walk right over their backs to get what she wanted and never look back. Oh, God, that's so scary. Mm. Um, I'm sorry, you know, I'm supposed to be meeting my husband here. I, I suppose I should go look for him. Um, sure. Uh, thank you so much. For, uh, do you know where the ladies' room is? Oh, yeah, it's right down there. Oh, okay, thanks a lot. Oh, Donna was looking for you. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> looky, looky. Lila's having her picture taken. Again. 
Lila sure does like having her picture taken. Yeah, she'll be here in about another three or four hours, probably. <laughs> uh -huh. Maybe if she knew you were giving her her engagement ring tonight, she'd hurry. Excuse me. I hate to tear you away. I can hardly wait for your press conference. I've got so much to tell them about yeah, you. you do. I've got so much to say. You're going to get your duty done. Oh, Charlie, what are we going to wear tomorrow? <sighs> yes, Lila, that's going to be a very interesting press conference. She looks exactly like Frankie. Well, then Cass should leave Lila. No, I'm... All we know about the lady is that she looks like Frankie. It still makes her more suitable than Lila. Well, just as long as you don't hold a grudge. No, I need to be more like you. I need to learn to forgive and forget. I'm telling you, I had a very long conversation with this woman, and I could still put my hand on a Bible and tell you it was Frankie. Well, Lila was very full of herself tonight. Do you think she even knows about this woman? I don't know. She did seem pretty secure in the idea of Cass. Well, of course she is. I mean, this woman might look like Frankie, but she's not Frankie. Hmm. I'll tell you one thing, though. When she talks about Cass, she's in love with him. You know, talking to you is really interesting. It's kind of like talking to someone from the Stone Age or the 80s or something. You know, it's a little too late to butter me up now, right? You know, I understand morals and being polite. But oh, yeah, which is a 50s concept, right? But it just doesn't sell newspapers. <sighs> Casey, Casey, you know, you remind me a lot of myself when I first started out. So much to learn, just ready to run out there and get the big story, no matter what it takes. Let the chips fall where they may, right? It's so bad and so rude to me. Just because I'm not having my picture taken. It's funny. Oh, you don't have to be so rude. I'm tired. Go to bed. Hey. Do you know how absolutely crazy I am about you? That I think you're the greatest kid in America? Gee, I guess I forgot you telling me at breakfast. A note at lunch and a toast at dinner. <laughs> Cass, it's grown up time. Okay. Good, Good night, night, sweetheart. Good night, sweetie. Good night. Oh, God. You have no idea how much it means to me that that child seems to want me to be part of this family. Well, I think the decision is unanimous. Okay, give me that. You come over here. Oh, barrister of mine. Oh. What I want you to oh. do is sit down whilst I steal another bottle of Donna Champagne, and you and I are gonna toast to your legal trout. Adieu. Adieu? Oh, well, that's French for... with a lasso. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when you get bilingual on me. I'll be right back. <laughs> I just can't stop thinking about it. Cass? Oh, Cass.
most wonderful life together. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, that's so amusing, yes. Well, you know how it is with kids. Well, Jasmine, she's off on her modeling assignments, and Charlie, she's off at Harvard. Oh, oh, yes. Well, no, Cass is, is he's in the shower. Of course I'll tell him you called. Yes, yes, yes. Goodbye, Mr. President. Honey Lamb, would you help me with these damn cufflinks? Oh, sweetheart, you just missed the president. Oh, good. You're a windbag. Oh, now, <laughs> the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court cannot be calling the President of the United States a windbag. Only to you, my confidant, my soulmate, my raison d'être. Oh, <laughs> it was so sweet of you when you said that on Barbara Walters. Oh, it was only the truth, darling, only the truth. I mean... We both know that I never would have won that Nobel Prize if it hadn't been for you. Oh, silly, I just did a little editing, that's all. Why must you always be so modest? You know what? There is nothing in my life with you that I would change. Absolutely nothing except... Yes? It's time for you to take your turn now. I have a steady job. Oh, Cass, you know how hard that is for me. And Charlie's off at Havid, and Jasmine has really good representation. You've done all these things for everyone else. It's time you thought about yourself. Oh, ma'am, you know that I'm just a simple housewife. No, no. What is it you want? What do you really want? All this money and fame and the perfect family, I mean, is that all there is? Cass, I told you, I'm a simple housewife. Lila, I've got it. Your jewelry design. Oh, stop. Yes. No. Now, yes. you know I just dabble. No, no, all. no. Yeah. You, you, you. <laughs> you could really help people. Oh, it is a shame, you know. So many women just don't know how to accessorize. Don't hide that bright, bright light under a basket any longer. Do it. Lila, follow your bliss. <laughs> well, you know, now that Cher is singing again, I mean... There is a void in the infomercial world. You know, maybe I can get on one of those shows. whenever things were bad, which was most of the time. I would spin all these fantasies, you know. This happened or that happened, then I'd be happy. But seeing you asleep on the couch like this <laughs> makes me realize I couldn't be any happier. You love me and we're going to be together forever. And I have Jasmine and Charlie. And you. Mm. And you're all I'm ever gonna be. It doesn't make any sense. How can this woman be in love with Cass if she hardly knows him? Of course, with Cass, that might help. <laughs> I don't know, but it just... It can't be an accident that she... That she looks exactly like Frankie. You know, maybe it's just fate giving Cass what he needs and what he wants. And maybe it's just Victoria rubbing her hands together, hoping that something terrible is going to happen to Lila. Oh, that would be the cherry on the Sunday of the day. Well, I guess it's about time for me to get the old walker off the coat, chick. <laughs> Chris, when do I get my expense account? Oh, your expense account. Mm -hmm. In about a week. Okay. After hell freezes over. The man is negative. Excuse I don't me. have a lot of time, and I don't want your boss to know about this. About what? I can give you a great exclusive, but you can never reveal your source, ever. Got that? Your cell awaits. I gotta tell you hot stuff. When Paulina slugged you, it looked like she wasn't quite as ready to help you as you thought she'd be. It's no big deal. Nobody's ever helped me out anyway. Paulina was willing, but that's all over now. Come on, let's go. I said, let's go. 
can you just can you just do me one favor? Will you tell Remy that I'm I'm sorry. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay, sweetie. Mom is here. Come on. Can you wake up? Okay? Please? Can you show Mama big blue eyes, please? Okay, just, just look for me, okay? Come on. Now, baby, open your eyes. Open your eyes for Baba. Come on, baby. 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 Here. Here, look. Here's your locket. Come on, baby, now they're together. Just like they always should have been. Just like you and I are together forever. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Jake, why? Why did Pauline find out now when it's probably too late? Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. But what's good about you, Mockingbird? If that Mockingbird don't sing, what was good about you, a diamond ring? That time we don't shine. Mama's got a pot. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, I'm right here. Mama's right here. Oh, baby. <laughs> Tomorrow on Another World. I want you with me. Always. Forever. This is Cass Winthrop. Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. A good reporter's always looking for a new angle on a story. Can you tell us how you feel about him working so closely with a woman that looks just like his wife? A woman that was brutally murdered? Uh, I'm sorry, you are way out of line. And I have no idea what you're talking about. <sighs> I'm talking about the lady right over there. Where is she? Right over there. Oh, yeah. Get her. Don't yeah. let her go. tonight on Dateline. Suppose you were on trial and could serve jail time if convicted. Strangers come up to you and say they can get an acquittal or a hung jury for a price. It really happened to one man. Will he make a deal to stay out of jail? Find out the incredible details tonight on Dateline. And be sure to check out NBC.TalkCity.com on Wednesday to chat with the hot young stars of daytime drama. You'll never guess who'll show up from shows like Days of Our Lives and Sunset Beach. Plus, get to know the sizzling new stars of NBC's upcoming daytime drama, Passions. This Wednesday, June 9th at 10 p.m. Eastern and 7 p.m. Pacific at one site, nbc.talkcity.com. And while you're online, be sure to surf over to nbc.com and find out more about your favorite shows on NBC.